end of it. I think this might be my last video. I don't know. I'm pretty sure my wife's going to kill me. Let me show you. I just shut the garage door on her car. That thing hit it. I was trying to close the garage. Because it's awfully noisy. I got, I got work to do out here. And it's noisy. There's cars over there. There's dogs over there. Birds in those trees. It's a jack wagon trying to build a house over here. I'm trying to do the right thing. Close the door. And then that happened. I think this is the end. This is the end. Oh, just said I can enjoy the deer one last time. Come here. Just let me pet you before I'm going. Okay, just in case she doesn't kill me. Maybe I can make it up with what I got. Because I am working on a car. So. What are we doing today? What are we doing this time? What are we doing now? It's always something. Today, well, I've already got it started. Oh, man. I got to get... I got to get this steering gear out of here. This thing is making an awful noise. See what I'm talking about? There's dogs everywhere. This steering gear is making an awful noise when you turn left. So I got to get her out of there. And the plan was to swap everything in there. The pump, all the lines, and the gear. So you can see, I got new lines. Yeah. Pressure, return, I don't know which one this is. And then I got this line here. I don't know if it's a pressure return either. I think this is some reservoir line. I don't know. I got all kinds of lines. I got trash over here. Uh, I got bolts. I didn't even, or nuts I didn't even need. But I did get bolts. Those are, I got some bolts. I got a new pump. I'll get this open with one hand. I got a brand new pump. It's in that bag. Trust me. Get in there. Just close. Just close. And here's a new skier, steering gear. The skier, gear, skier gear. Here's a new steering gear. Here's a problem. I didn't plan ahead very well. Oh, I thought something just snuck up on me. It almost got real. This pump doesn't have a gear on it. I gotta take the gear off of that one. And put it on this one. I don't want to do that today. Here's the thing. I just got off work not long ago. I got to work tomorrow morning. I don't want to be here all night. Because I got to get up early. Like four in the morning early. And I don't have time to go chase around a pulley removal tool. There goes all the deer. They're going crazy out there. Let me scare them. Anywho, what was I talking about? Oh, that pulley. I don't have a thing, I don't have a tool to get the pulley off and to put it on there. I could go get one, but I don't feel like running it down again. I didn't even get power steering fluid. So, but in the meantime, we got to get that gear out. So I've already started. I want to get a head start before I started filming to get all the boring stuff out of the way. So I took loose the outer tie rod and I had to disconnect the forward control arm. And then I had to crank her on back just to hold it back. And then it'll give me a straight shot. If you can see a straight shot to get her on out. On this side.
I've already disconnected the tie rod. And I took loose the two bolts. One goes here, and one goes here. It's kind of hard to see, it's dark. But trust me, if you're really interested in seeing all that come apart, uh, go check out my suspension rebuild on this. So in the meantime, we're just gonna get those bolts loose in there. I have one here and one there, and I gotta take those two lines loose. Uh, and then I gotta take the steering shaft loose that's up in here. And then it should slide out, put the new one in, reconnect it, reconnect that. Once we do that, it should be ready to put some fluid in it or top it off. And then I just got to bleed it and hopefully that's good. So let me get set up, get that camera set up and get some lights in here. And then get after it. Man, I'm going to do this right now. But I got to do it. I got plans next week. That's why I'm doing it this weekend. Working weekend, I got to do it today. Next weekend, I got to go to Lubbock. Five hours away. All right, let me get set up. Get a hammer. Found it. Organ. So apparently that bullet has to come all the way out. there's a notch in there that this bolt shank this shank sits in there's a notch in there that sits in so no wonder I couldn't push it back and let's see what happens here we go let's see if we can tap it in just tap it in I'll be oh, let's see we see kind of now I gotta take this now I gotta take this bad boy loose that bad boy loose and that bolt and that bolt and it should just slide right out sounds easy it's not gonna be easy I'm pretty sure isn't that something here's a tip for you boys and girls out there want to make YouTube videos it's real simple you go to put a battery in, it's sure already dead. It's just got some life in her. That would be handy. I just had this thing loose. Now oh, what in the world? She's loose enough to get this little one on there. Or so I thought. Hold this up. Go to town. What's your most favorite thing? Mine? It's this. Taking up four foot long bolts. When you only have two inches of ratcheting space. That's my most favorite thing in the world. Ah, this wasn't so bad. I thought we were going to be here for a week. And I actually got it out. Let's see if we can get the other one out. Or even less room. Get over there. Oh man, oh man. Oh my. Oh my. Seems to be coming loose just fine. Wish I could get a ratchet on it. For those who watch my other videos, go ahead and comment at the bottom. How many times I wish I had Richie ratchets? Maybe one day. I'll show my wife the scratch. She said that's okay. Except for the ones you put on my truck doing the same thing. 
Now if I could just get up in here. Oh boy, I think we got it. Yep, we got it. Now I just break the lines loose. We got this one, and I got this one. Right here, this one and this one. Got me a drip pan down there. Got me a little rag in here. Let's see what we can do with I'm making too big of a mess. Let's see if we can get my wrench in here. There we go. Okay. That popped her loose. Okay, I didn't lose too much. Now let's get the other one out. Mouth off the brake rotor. Yep. Well, that wasn't so bad. That's a harness right here. Probably can see it earlier. It was running right here. And it runs right in front along this cross member. And it's clipped in there. Just gotta pop those clips out. It'll I got it laid up there, so it's up out of the way. Let's see if we can get her out without making a complete mess. Now we play the back and forth game of wiggling this thing out from side to side. See where I'm hanging up on. So far. That came out. Uh, that came out not so bad. I got her out of there. You can see all the way to the other side. Went ahead and cleaned up the mounting services. Looks like I missed a spot. Good. Not. There we go. Here we go. All right. So here's the old one. Okay, man. She is dirty. And if we look here. You can see it's, it's leaking in there. And I'm pretty sure that's what the problem is. Here's a little tip for you though. When you're dragging this thing out of here, take this clamp off. Take this clamp and this bushing off here. This is on the passenger side. That way when you try to roll it, it'll roll pretty easy. You just have to worry about this hidden, but it came out, it came out fairly easy. So let me get the old, the new one. I'm gonna lay it up here next to it. And there's the new one. Nice and shiny. But just like put, taking it out, I'm gonna take this off. And this goes forward. All right guys, so I just took the, I took the old one, flipped it upside down, put the new one on top of it. Just put a couple bolts in it to hold it uh, right on top of one another. That way I can get my outer tie rods uh, aligned close to where it was on a factory one or the original one. That way I can probably get my toe in just close enough. I just need to break these loose. This is a good one. Now this can go back out so this side is almost a little more. Now we can put it back in. All right, let's put it back in. Back under here, I mean, this is actually going pretty easy. Uh, all we gotta do now is I got it laid up in there. I got the bolts just kind of sitting in there, but the torque sequence is, um, so the driver's side aft bolt is your first one. And the driver's side forward bolt will be your second one. Passenger side, passenger side aft bolt will be your third one. And then the front passenger is your um, fourth one. And that's the sequence that goes. So it goes driver's side back forward, passenger side back forward. It's 37 foot pounds on your first pass. And your second pass is 120 degrees after that. So I got one of those little dial 
dial hook knobs you put on your Jell Johnson and torque away, but I hate those, so I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go to torque it this side, front, back, that side, front, back, just red lock tight and smoker on. It should be good enough for me. So let me get after that. I don't know why I had to buy brand new nuts. The nuts are in there welded. The parse breakdown showed nuts. So I got some brand new five dollar piece GM nuts. <laughs> yes I do. Enough of childish jokes. Time to get her on there. Feels about the same as it was. Take it off. Ah, that's good. That ain't going nowhere. Well, I'm making a mess. I'm about to make a big one. I can feel it. Yep. Yep. Son of a. All right, let's try this again. Pretty sure I need to replace those O rings. Let me do that real quick. Get on there. There we go. Now this one. And I can barely see. Son of a... Alright, that's off. Only one little temper tantrum. Let's get it back on now. Jeez Louise. Only took a month. Well, irritation level is now 9,000. Alright. Well, it's back in there. I just gotta reconnect the end link, the control arm, and hook up the steering shaft. And you torque down the other side. And, um, oh yeah, hook up the uh, tire on that side too. So. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up, and then I'll be right back. Well, day two. What did we get done last night? Well, i got to put it all back together. Everything's back on it. Now I just need to bleed the system. So I went and topped it off. I think I overfilled it by a mile, but hopefully it pushes a lot of air out. So now I just need to... Now I just need to cord oh I need to open the window first. That door's open. Uh, I just need to turn the steering wheel lock to lock twelve times. This is what the uh, shop manual says. So I'll do that. I'll probably put the camera over here. You guys can see see it bubbling up. If you want to see that, if not, just whatever. But uh, we'll get some air out of there. Hopefully, get some air out of there. We'll see what happens. Well, let's take it for a little drive. Still feels a little ratchety. Might have some air still in it. But it feels way better than it did. So just take it for a little spin. Makes you just feel ratchety at all right now. And I'm about to go off roading with it. Because Nacho's in the way. Off road. Driving the bar ditch. Let me see. It doesn't feel ratchet anymore. That feels really good. I don't feel any ratcheting anymore, so I guess whatever air was in it just bled itself out just now. The steering wheel's cocked. Service to fill the track. Okay. Don't know what that means. There's way off. It's not pulling either way, so we'll have to get it fixed when it gets aligned. Oh yeah. You don't feel any ratcheting at all. Let's make some let's make some tighter turns and see what happens. 
let's see here let's go we'll go straight ahead gotta be careful around here Tarrant County likes to hang out there's a hard turn right here let's see if it gets any let's see what it does Feels good. I think we fixed it. We'll go up here and take a ride. Put us back where we were. That's a hard right. Look at my knees for a minute. Let's see here. Oh. Hmm. Dude creeping by the neighborhood. I think we're fixed. Oh man. I need to go off road again. Turn off. Well, I think I'll just, uh, I think I'll take her in. I think I'll text my wife, tell her to move nacho so I don't have to go off roading again. And while I'm waiting on that, we'll go ahead and sign out. Get over there. Let's see if I can get my phone out. Oh, dang, my phone is in the house. Oh, well. I'll just park it right here. What's well, gonna be a wrap, folks? Uh, let's see. What do we do? We swapped out the steering gear, and that fixed the uh, that fixed the plastic clicking noise that it was making. It sounded like plastic popping together when you turn left. When you turn right, it was fine. Just when you went left, so that's fixed. Uh, it does. It did ratchet a little bit. It's low speed. That's not doing it anymore. It did when I was backing out of the garage, but that went away as I was backing out of the garage. So it seems to be fixed. I just need to get a line, get the steering wheel straight, and then we're back on the road. Well, we weren't off the road in the first place. We're uh, we're back at it. Well, my wife can have her car back, so she didn't ever lose it. It was only down for a day. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go in, do my laundry. I got to get up again and go back to work. I was at work today. Came home and just knocked out the bleeding real quick. And go in and do my laundry. Eat me some supper. Relax a little bit. Then I'm going to call it a night. Do it all over again. And then uh, this will be uploaded next weekend. But uh, if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Share it. Subscribe. And uh, go ahead and leave your comments in the bottom. If you saw anything I should have done differently, put it down there. There's probably lots of lots of things. I've never swapped out a bracket pinion before, but let me know what you think. We'll holler at you later.